Chapter 1. The Basics of a Home Run Swing A powerful home run swing is the ultimate achievement for any baseball player. It requires a deep understanding of the basics, along with a blend of physical strength and technical finesse. Mastering the nuances of a home run swing involves several key components, such as stance, grip, weight transfer, and bat path. Firstly, let's discuss the importance of a proper stance. The way a player positions themselves in the batter's box sets the foundation for a successful swing. The feet should be shoulder-width apart, with the knees slightly bent. This balanced stance allows for optimal weight distribution and stability throughout the swing. A strong and stable base is crucial for generating maximum power. Next, the grip on the bat is equally important. A powerful grip provides control, stability, and the ability to transfer energy from the body to the bat. The hands should be positioned comfortably on the handle, with the top hand slightly higher than the bottom hand. This grip allows for a quick and powerful rotation of the wrists, generating bat speed and maximizing power upon contact with the ball. The transfer of weight during a swing is another fundamental aspect of a powerful home run hit. As the pitch approaches, the hitter must shift their weight from the back foot to the front foot, generating momentum and torque. This weight transfer is essential for generating power and driving the ball with force. Furthermore, the bat path plays a critical role in achieving a powerful home run swing. The correct bat path involves a smooth and efficient swing trajectory that maximizes bat speed and allows for a perfect connection with the ball. The bat should travel on a level plane through the hitting zone, ensuring consistent contact and minimizing pop-ups or ground balls. A slight upward angle at the point of contact helps elevate the ball, increasing the chances of a home run. To train and develop these components, Practice becomes necessary. Repetition and dedication are crucial to refining the home run swing. Hitters must consistently work on perfecting their stance, grip, weight transfer, and bat path through drills and exercises. Consistent practice will lead to muscle memory and enhanced coordination, ultimately translating into a more powerful and consistent swing. In conclusion, a powerful home run swing is the result of a combination of factors. Understanding and mastering the basics of a home run swing, including the stance, grip, weight transfer, and bat path, is essential for success. Developing these skills requires dedicated practice and a strong work ethic. By focusing on these key components, hitters can increase their chances of hitting powerful home runs and becoming a force to be reckoned with on the baseball field. Question, what are the key components of a powerful home run swing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Developing Bat Speed for Explosive Hits In order to become a true power hitter, David knew he needed to improve his bat speed. He had always dreamt of hitting explosive home runs that would make the crowd go wild. Determined to achieve his goal, he embarked on a rigorous training regimen that would push him to his limits. Firstly, David focused on strength training exercises specifically designed to enhance his bat speed. He incorporated weightlifting routines that targeted his upper body, particularly his shoulders, forearms, and core muscles. These exercises would not only increase his power, but also provide stability and control during his swing. Alongside his strength training, David worked tirelessly on refining his swing mechanics. He sought the guidance of a seasoned hitting coach who emphasized the importance of proper technique. The coach analyzed David's swing, making adjustments to ensure a smooth and efficient bat path. With each swing, David practiced swinging through the hitting zone, maintaining a level swing plane and honing his timing. As the weeks went by, David's commitment became evident. He spent countless hours at the batting cages, putting his newfound knowledge into practice. 
the repetitive motion of swinging the bat allowed his muscles to memorize the correct movements, improving his overall mechanics. He focused on generating maximum bat speed by using his lower body, hips, and wrists in perfect synchronization. However, David knew that practice alone wouldn't be enough. He needed to push himself beyond his comfort zone. He began incorporating various drills into his training routine that challenged his endurance and reaction time. One drill in particular involved hitting rapid-fire pitches from a pitching machine. With each passing day, his bat speed and reaction time improved, allowing him to unleash explosive hits with a newfound force. To further refine his technique, David began studying professional hitters. He watched countless videos, carefully analyzing the swings of baseball legends. He paid close attention to their footwork, grit, and the way they generated power with their hips. Implementing these observations into his own swing, he began to see a noticeable difference in his ability to drive the ball with authority. Through his relentless dedication and unwavering focus, David managed to develop a powerful bat speed that left his opponents in awe. The sound of the ball connecting with his bat reverberated through the stadium as each hit seemed to defy gravity. His explosive hits soared over outfield fences, leaving fans in a state of utter disbelief. In the end, David's journey to enhance his bat speed proved to be a transformative experience. It taught him the value of hard work, discipline, and perseverance. He realized that success in any endeavor requires constant improvement, whether it be physical strength training, mastering mechanics, or putting in hours of practice. With his newly developed bat speed, David was now ready to take on any challenge that stood between him and his dreams of hitting explosive home runs. Question, how can players improve their bat speed for more explosive hits? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, The Role of Timing in a Home Run Swing As David delved further into his quest to become a power hitter, he discovered the crucial role that timing played in the art of a home run swing. With his newfound bat speed and refined mechanics, he soon realized that timing was the key to unlocking the full potential of his power. David understood that the moment of connection between bat and ball was not solely determined by raw strength, but by the precision of his swing in relation to the pitch's arrival. He recognized that a split-second delay or rush could significantly impact the power and distance of his hits. To master the timing of his swing, David meticulously studied the pitchers he would face. He observed their wind-up, arm speed, and release point, all in an effort to anticipate the moment the ball would be delivered. By analyzing these cues, he could adjust his stance and prepare his swing accordingly, maximizing his chances of a solid connection. Time and again, David would step into the batter's box, his mind focused on perfecting the timing of his swing. It became a mental game, as he trained himself to instinctively recognize the speed and trajectory of each pitch. He would visualize the moment of contact, imagining the explosive power that would follow once he connected with the ball. In his pursuit of impeccable timing, David began working on his hand-eye coordination with a newfound determination. He practiced drills that challenged him to react quickly to different pitch speeds and locations. He honed his ability to read the spin of the ball and adjusted his swing accordingly, ensuring that the bat and ball met at the optimal point. As David's timing improved, so did his confidence. He felt the surge of power ripple through his body as he connected with the ball, effortlessly sending it soaring high over the outfield. The crowd erupted with excitement, their cheers echoing through the stadium as the ball disappeared into the distance. However, David soon realized that timing was not a fixed concept. It varied from pitcher to pitcher, pitch to pitch. Just when he thought he had mastered the art, a new challenge would present itself. He understood 
that he needed to continuously adapt and refine his timing with every new opponent he faced. With each swing, David's understanding of timing deepened. He realized that it was not just about waiting for the pitch to arrive, but also about synchronizing his body's movements. His footwork, hip rotation, and hand positioning all needed to align perfectly to optimize the transfer of power from his body to the ball. Through relentless practice and a constant focus on timing, David became a formidable force at the plate. His home runs became more frequent, each one a testament to his unwavering dedication. He had mastered the art of connecting his bat with the ball at precisely the right moment, unleashing his full power and sending the crowd into a frenzy. As David progressed on his journey, he came to understand that timing was not just limited to the baseball diamond. It permeated every aspect of life. The ability to seize the perfect moment, to harness one's power and passion, was a skill applicable beyond the game itself. By embracing the crucial role of timing in his home run swing, David not only elevated his game, but also learned an invaluable lesson about the essence of success. It was not just about physical strength or technical skill, but about the precise alignment of intention, preparation, and execution. As he continued to chase his dreams, David knew that perfect timing would always be the key to unlocking his true power. Question. Why is timing crucial in executing a powerful home run swing? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4. Adjusting to Pitching Styles for Home Run Success As David delved further into his quest to become a power hitter, he discovered the crucial role that timing played in the art of a home run swing. With his newfound bat speed and refined mechanics, he soon realized that timing was the key to unlocking the full potential of his power. David understood that the moment of connection between bat and ball was not solely determined by raw strength, but by the precision of his swing in relation to the pitch's arrival. He recognized that a split-second delay or rush could significantly impact the power and distance of his hits. To master the timing of his swing, David meticulously studied the pitchers he would face. He observed their wind-up, arm speed, and release point, all in an effort to anticipate the moment the ball would be delivered. By analyzing these cues, he could adjust his stance and prepare his swing accordingly, maximizing his chances of a solid connection. Time and again, David would step into the batter's box, his mind focused on perfecting the timing of his swing. It became a mental game as he trained himself to instinctively recognize the speed and trajectory of each pitch. He would visualize the moment of contact, imagining the explosive power that would follow once he connected with the ball. In his pursuit of impeccable timing, David began working on his hand-eye coordination with a newfound determination. He practiced drills that challenged him to react quickly to different pitch speeds and locations. He honed his ability to read the spin of the ball and adjusted his swing accordingly, ensuring that the bat and ball met at the optimal point. As David's timing improved, so did his confidence. He felt the surge of power ripple through his body as he connected with the ball, effortlessly sending it soaring high over the outfield. The crowd erupted with excitement, their cheers echoing through the stadium as the ball disappeared into the distance. However, David soon realized that timing was not a fixed concept. It varied from pitcher to pitcher, pitch to pitch. Just when he thought he had mastered the art, a new challenge would present itself. He understood that he needed to continuously adapt and refine his timing with every new opponent he faced. With each swing, David's understanding of timing deepened. He realized that it was not just about waiting for the pitch to arrive, but also about synchronizing his body's movements. His footwork, hip rotation, and hand positioning all needed to align perfectly to optimize the transfer of power from his body to the ball. Through relentless practice and a constant focus on timing, David became a formidable force at the plate. His home runs became more frequent, 
each one a testament to his unwavering dedication. He had mastered the art of connecting his bat with the ball at precisely the right moment, unleashing his full power and sending the crowd into a frenzy. As David progressed on his journey, he came to understand that timing was not just limited to the baseball diamond. It permeated every aspect of life. The ability to seize the perfect moment, to harness one's power and passion, was a skill applicable beyond the game itself. By embracing the crucial role of timing in his home run swing, David not only elevated his game, but also learned an invaluable lesson about the essence of success. It was not just about physical strength or technical skill, but about the precise alignment of intention, preparation, and execution. As he continued to chase his dreams, David knew that perfect timing would always be the key to unlocking his true power. Adjusting to different pitching styles proved to be essential in David's quest for home run success. Each pitcher had their unique tendencies and quirks that David had to study and capitalize on. After analyzing the pitchers, their tendencies and adjustments, David formulated a plan of approach in order to maximize his chances of hitting home runs. Some pitchers were known for throwing fastballs, while others relied on curveballs or change-ups. David had to adapt his timing and swing mechanics accordingly. Against a fastball pitcher, he had to be prepared for high velocity and adjust his swing to be quicker. On the other hand, when facing a pitcher known for their off-speed pitches, David had to be patient, wait for the ball to come to him, and use his power to drive it out of the park. In addition to adjusting his timing and swing, David also had to pay close attention to the location of the pitch. Some pitchers liked to work the corners of the strike zone, while others preferred to throw down the middle. By recognizing these tendencies, David could position himself at the plate to better capitalize on the pitches that were most likely to be hittable. As David faced a variety of pitchers with different styles, he became adept at making in-game adjustments. If he found himself consistently swinging and missing at a certain type of pitch, he would reevaluate his approach and make the necessary changes. Sometimes, this meant widening his stance or adjusting his grip on the bat. Other times, it meant being more disciplined and patient at the plate, waiting for the perfect pitch to drive. Through his constant study and adaptation, David's ability to adjust to different pitching styles became second nature. He became known as a hitter who could excel against any type of pitcher, making him a valuable asset to his team. His reputation as a power hitter continued to grow, and he became a player that opposing pitchers feared facing. As David's journey to become a power hitter continued, he understood that refining his ability to adjust to pitching styles would be an ongoing process. The game of baseball was constantly evolving, with new pitchers emerging, each with their unique style and pitches. David was determined to stay one step ahead, continuously studying, analyzing, and adapting to ensure his success at the plate. As he stepped into the batter's box, his mind focused on the task at hand. He knew that it was not just about his physical strength and skill, but about his ability to adjust his approach and capitalize on the opportunities presented to him. With each swing, David was one step closer to achieving his goal of becoming a home-run powerhouse. Question, how can hitters adjust their approach to different pitching styles for home-run success? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 mental toughness and confidence for home run hitters. As the journey to become a home run hitter continued, David realized the important role that mental toughness and confidence played in his success at the plate. He understood that his mindset had a significant impact on his ability to make focused decisions and deliver powerful swings. With each practice session and game, David worked on cultivating his mental fortitude and building his confidence. At the plate, David faced a constant battle of wills. The opposing pitcher would try to intimidate him with their arsenal of pitches and strategic placement in the strike zone. 
However, David refused to be rattled. He knew that mental toughness was essential to staying calm and focused amidst the pressure of the game. David learned to silence the doubt and negative thoughts that sometimes creeped into his mind. He realized that dwelling on past failures or worrying about the outcome of each swing would only hinder his performance. Instead, he focused on the present moment, trusting in his training and abilities. He adopted a routine to center himself before each at-bat, visualizing success and reinforcing positive thoughts. He reminded himself of his accomplishments and the countless hours he had spent refining his skills. Through this process, David was able to bolster his confidence and approach each pitch with a clear mind. Even in the face of adversity, David maintained his mental toughness. If he struck out or made a mistake, he quickly brushed it off and refocused on the next opportunity. He refused to let setbacks define him or erode his confidence. Instead, he used them as learning experiences and motivation to improve. David recognized that decision-making at the plate was crucial. He often found himself in situations where he had to make split-second choices, such as whether to swing or let a pitch go. He learned to trust his instincts and make confident decisions, even amidst the pressure of the game. His mental toughness and confidence allowed David to trust his judgment and execute his game plan. He knew when to be patient and wait for the perfect pitch, and when to be aggressive and unleash his power. The ability to make these decisive choices was a testament to his growth as a home run hitter. As David's mental toughness and confidence grew, so did his performance at the plate. He became a player who thrived under pressure, consistently delivering clutch hits and towering home runs. The crowd would erupt in applause as the ball sailed over the outfield fence, a testament to his mental resilience and unwavering belief in his abilities. Off the field, David carried his newfound mental strength and confidence into his everyday life. He realized that the lessons he had learned on the baseball diamond were applicable to all aspects of his life. Whether it was facing a challenging task at work or navigating personal relationships, David approached each situation with the same unwavering belief in himself. Throughout his journey, David encountered both triumphs and setbacks but his mental toughness and confidence remained unwavering. They became his guiding principles, enabling him to persevere through adversity and achieve his goals. David knew that the path to becoming a home run hitter was not easy, but he was determined to continue honing his mental fortitude and building his confidence with each swing of the bat. Question, how important is mental toughness and confidence for home run hitters? Check the video.